Hello and welcome back to part two of my review and tutorial on setting up SEO Studio. In part one, I've already set up this website and I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check that out if you haven't already done so. This is a website about offering free tools for visitors and here are the SEO tools like checking on backlinks and Google ranking positions. Anyways, let's continue the setup in part two. After the installation, head over to the settings and extensions to enable any additional features. So when you log into your SEO studio, go to settings and under settings, there is an extensions feature right here. At this moment, there's only uh, these four options and uh, you can choose to enable them or disable them that's up to you it's optional but i'll try to enable this right here the backlink tool pack to find the newest and uh, poorest backlinks for a site so just click on enable and you will need to configure it so let's configure that you need to make a password at seo profiler and then enter the login information here and it's a free account that's all you need to get this to work here is SEO profiler go ahead and make your free account and then add the login to uh, in SEO studio okay after entering in the login email and password click on save okay there it is let's go back to the extension I'll probably leave these right here as disabled for now debugger and subscriptions and plans since I want to offer SEO studio at my site free seo.cloud for free to my visitors but I do want to enable easy contact page okay and it gives you a couple of options here to translate the contact page change how email is sent okay let's edit that okay configuring the outgoing email you can leave this as default built-in PHP mail it gives you some other options like SMTP and other services but you can just leave it as the uh, default now enter in a from email address and from name okay just like that and click on save changes okay now on to customizing SEO studio to fit with my new site so what I want to do now is head to tools under the tools page here let's move some things around just to make it more unique so to do this all you have to do is just move some things around and you can even move the rows so this appears right here on your website when uh, the visitors click on tools so just uh, move things okay I'm gonna move this up here well, I want this higher up okay once you're happy click on save changes all right next let's go to customize and then the header let's change out the logo okay choose your logo and click on upload all right successful now let's go and load up the website and see how the new logo looks it's kind of dark so I need to change the header color to something more brighter back in the header let's add some uh, additional links and you can choose to link to your other websites your social media or your SEO services or affiliate links that's up to you all right I added three links here let's choose some icons and they have a set of pretty nice default icons you can choose select all right let's save okay operation was successful let's check out how that looks so the links were added up here internet marketing school TikTok site my YouTube channel it will probably be better if I shorten the text links so it fits nicely here okay so I shortened the some of the text links now let's change the colors of the background here you can go to customize again and click on colors and here this is for the header color and you can also change home page colors tools color the button colors 
so you can play around with this and change and customize however you like all right there it is I changed the background to a brighter color white pretty much and now it looks a lot better and back at the customize page here click on home page and you can customize the text on the home page pretty much these right here and that's up to you do uh, as you please and next up let's talk about the members and most likely you won't need to edit this as default there's two groups there's the admin and the standard group and let's go to edit the standard group and you can see here it has permissions this group so pretty much any member or any visitors that sign up will have permissions to use the tools add their own site delete their own site record tool usage so it's everything besides the admin uh, panel so nothing much to edit here let's go to language if you want to translate you can click on create new change out the new language for instance email address and then you would type in uh, the new language all the way down here so that's everything so this is very very useful for international traffic okay next up services this is for the free proxy tools and also the cron jobs when you set up uh, SEO studio during part one I showed you guys that you can use these for free provided by SEO studio when you purchase from Code Canyon so you don't need to mess around with proxy adding new proxy IPs and also cron jobs is taken care of by SEO studio through their own free service so that's really nice uh, nothing to worry about here usage provides you a history of all the users and the tools that were being used and the domain and the information and the time now go to settings there's actually more customizations here go to configuration and basically here you can change the time automatically updates SEO studio so that's really nice and these other default settings you don't need to deal with so and I really like SEO studio so far everything is set up really fast and default you don't need to do a whole bunch of edits and especially you don't need to configure each one of these tools right out of the box it works already there isn't really a whole lot of edits you need to do to make the site work okay next let's go to accounts allow visitors to sign up show the login button and again default everything's already set up for you there's really nothing to do there advertising here's where you can advertise things like Amazon affiliate products banner ads text ads whatever you want and I'm going to try to add in AdSense later on and you can enable or disable advertisements by click in here so it's really really easy and straightforward just enter in the ad codes with the following sizes I add in some of these texts just to see where the ads are at now let's go back here let's do a refresh of the page so it seems like the ads are not showing up on the home page but let's see if it shows up when I'm testing out the tools so you can see here there's the skyscraper ads and then let's try to click on Google SERP okay so the ads here the leaderboard ads shows up right here when you're using a tool okay next up custom HTML this is where you can add things like Google Analytics in the header right here and now the SEO part change the title of the website description and the tools page title and description so that's pretty important you need to probably do this to customize your site and make it more unique for the search engines to rank your site okay click on save once you're done entering those in and now my site title as you can see here it's just tools right now but if I refresh it now shows my new title okay next cache and again you don't need to deal with this it's default is every three days it will store the results and then clean it up for you nothing to do there and then here in mail you do need to make sure to set this to the right method you want to use and default is the built-in PHP mail which is 
are good enough already. And then make sure you enter in the from address. This is your administration email. And then the from name, you can just uh, call it whatever you want. And make sure it works by sending a test email. Enter your email here and then click send. And you can configure the email template. When uh, visitors sign up, they need to uh, verify the email. And you can customize that here when they uh, receive the email to activate their account. And again, default is good. Style sheet, this is for if you know what you're doing with uh, CSS. And most likely, you don't need to do anything there. And extensions, we went over that already. And that's pretty much everything. Uh, updates is automatic. This is one of the best scripts I've ever seen at Code Canyon. Works right out of the box. Uh, very little things you need to do to customize it and edit it. And I'll leave a link down below for you guys to check out my new site, freeseo.cloud, and also to SEO Studio for you guys to check out uh, the demo as well. Thanks so much for viewing. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And please subscribe to my channel, How to Webmaster for more tips, tricks, and tutorials on internet marketing and website building. Thanks again, and until next time, happy marketing.